Carrot farming has come a long way in recent years. New techniques and equipment have made it possible to grow carrots in a variety of climates and soil types. This video will explore some of the latest innovations in carrot farming and how they are used in carrot farms to improve yield and quality. Carrots are a versatile vegetable that can be used in a variety of dishes. They are also relatively easy to grow, making them a popular choice for farmers. Additionally, they contain high levels of vitamins and minerals, making them one of the most nutritious foods available. In 2020, China produced 44% of the world's carrots, with 41 million tons produced worldwide. The United States and Uzbekistan were the other major producers of carrots. Before starting the video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Now let's get started with the video. The process begins with soil preparation. A wide variety of soils are suitable for growing carrots. The ideal soil type for commercial carrot farming is deep, loose, well-drained, and rich in humus. Sandy loams and clay soils with adequate levels of humus are all good choices for carrot cultivation. Soil that is too dense or compacted can lead to poor root development, while soils that are too sandy may not hold enough moisture and nutrients to support healthy growth. Preparation of the seedbed for carrot cultivation is done with the help of a tiller machine. Since the seeds are very small and delicate, the seedbed should be very finely prepared. This is a crucial step in the carrot cultivation process, as it will determine the success of the crop. The size of the bed is also an important factor to consider. If the bed is too small, the carrots will be overcrowded and will not have enough space to grow. If the bed is too large, the carrots will be spaced too far apart. Carrot is a cold weather crop, and it also does well in warm climates. The temperatures between 15 and 20 result in attractive roots with excellent red color and quality. There is a possibility that carrots grown in dry soil will become misshapen or will have a bitter taste. Make sure the soil is thoroughly soaked when watering. Watering the crop every four days in summer and every 10 days in winter provides sufficient moisture. Because weeds compete with the crop, they can be controlled mechanically, by hand, by mulching, or by combining all of these methods. It takes 60 to 70 days after sowing carrots for them to be ready for harvest. The time has come for harvest. On large farms, carrot harvesting machines are used to harvest carrots. These amazing machines pull carrots from the ground, then separate their leaves and roots. The leaves are disposed of in the disposal bin before the carrots are separated and taken to another truck. With the help of these machines, farmers are able to harvest more carrots in a shorter amount of time. These carrots are now harvested in a few hours instead of hundreds of hours of labor over many days. After harvesting, the carrots are loaded on trucks and sent to the nearby factory. The truck then unloads those carrots into a roller machine which removes all the mud and dust from the carrot. The carrots are then washed completely while moving through the conveyor belt. This ensures that the carrots are clean and ready to be processed. As soon as the carrots have been thoroughly washed, they are sorted according to their size. The damaged carrots are manually removed by workers from the conveyor belt and placed in another bin. Carrots can be processed in two ways, depending on the area and the market. There are places where carrots are packed and sold whole. Others process carrots and make carrot juice from them. During the final stage of packaging, the carrots are sealed in a vacuum seal pack, labeled, and shipped to local retailers. Let's now take a look at how carrot juice is made. Fortunately, the process is fairly straightforward. I'll show you how to make it. After the carrots are washed, they are blanched. In this process, carrots are boiled at 80 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Once all the carrots are blanched, 
they are sent to the next processing station. Here the carrots are put into grinding mills. The large grinding mills inside the factories ensure these carrots are ground properly. After the carrots have been ground into a pulp, the pulp is transferred to the deducing section. Here, the juices are extracted from the carrot pulp using a special machine. This machine helps to ensure that all of the juice is extracted from the pulp, leaving none behind. As soon as the carrot juice is extracted, it is stored in large containers. The pomace is then discarded from another pipe. In the next step, the juice undergoes acidification. Acidification of carrot juice could be achieved by fermentation or adding citric acid. In this process, the carrot juice's pH is lowered, which acts as a natural barrier against most microorganisms. This is an important step in preventing spoilage and ensuring that the juice stays fresh and safe to drink. The carrot juice then goes through pasteurization, which involves heating it for 30 seconds at 95 degrees Celsius. This process kills harmful microbes in juice without affecting the taste or nutritional value. The carrot juice is now ready for packaging. The juice is sent further to the bottling section of the factory. In the end, these bottles are labeled in the labeling station. How informative did you find this video? For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching.